have an idea for anything. These are the do. best plans. They have the best plans. They all go flawlessly. Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome, or I am very unprepared. We have a thing! Oops. New series, new map making thing, the race fool is practically done, there are still a couple of balance changes I have to make, but it involves replacing all of the spawners and So Let's do something else. Um I'm gonna be making a minimalisty kind of a thing. Where you have these tiny little areas. <laughs> Um, current plan, subject to change, is work on each of these little areas in a collaboration with somebody different for each one. And then we'll have, we'll have a map. We'll have a map. And then you'll have a big, you said you'd have a big nightmare area at the end. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. It is up in the air. I've not decided what I'm gonna do. But anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, question. We did not plan for this. What do you plan to do to stop people from just, like, walking over to a later area? Well, each of these is going to have, like, a, a door and some barriers over the front and unlock sequentially. Also, the monument will be like down here somewhere or something. But anyway, um, we don't necessarily have to start with the first one. We can begin anywhere, really. Pick a box in your box. We also have the ice to put a boat on, so you can get up and down here without taking a million years to run down the chamber. And I'll probably also put a teleport at the beginning and end. Just to make running back and forth not a complete pain. Yes, but zooming along with the boat is the best. <laughs> I picked a, I picked, I picked an area. Let's build it. I know exactly what to do. Cool. It'll be, it'll be terrible. It won't be terrible. I'm red. But it'll be terrible. <laughs> sure. You're like, wait a second. I don't want terrible. <laughs> Where's um what's that world that selection mod? There we go. I almost called it a selection brush. It's not right. So yeah, we've got the MBT edit, we've got Voxel Sniper, we've got World Edit, all the usual all the usual stuff. Alright, so here's an idea. Um that Originally was planned for something else, but I can't even talk about and admit that something else exists, so... Um, Too late. It's, it's fine. I can get no more specific than that, not unless I want somebody that I, I also can't even specify. Very, very angry with me. Justifiably so. That's the worst, when you make somebody mad at you and it's completely justified. Um... <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. How many blocks um, wide is this? Seven. Good. It's an odd number. Right. So, <laughs> the idea here. Two halves to this area, really. An upper half and a lower half. Mm -hmm. um, the lower half starts flooded with lava. Ooh, fun, right? I think I see where this might be going already. Okay, so you come in here and you do this 
first section of the upper half, mm -hmm. and the lava drains a little bit, yep. like maybe three or four blocks down. But the bottom is still flooded. And, um, and then you do the second half, and the remainder drains. Thoughts? Sounds like a good idea for me. Um, complications? Uh, can we cheat and make this one like three or four blocks deeper? <laughs> <laughs> it, nope, nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> so I that mean, it's not so easy to just like chug a fire resist and swim under there. You can see them all from the outside. They're supposed to be on the same side. Oh, that's a problem. It's not gonna be. It's fine. not gonna be hard to notice. That's okay. Fine. Um. Can I make the entrance a staircase up into it, or is that gonna be too weird? Uh, sure. All right, but it's understandable if that's too weird. So, general plot synopsis: we have a large hangar, we have a whole bunch of like simulated test chambery kind of uh, training areas to go through. Uh, blah 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 plot. Oh, then I would be even weirder, and I would have, like, I would have some where you get in through the top, some you get in through the bottom, all sorts of weird things like that. You could do. That's just, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna go well with just, like, a long haul. No. <laughs> it's gonna require reorganizing things. But that would be way more interesting and way less boring to run along. Because I'm going to be honest, um, this, running along this, would get incredibly old, incredibly well, That's why we have the, the boat track and the boat, and the it's plan to put teleporters at either end. It would still get annoying. Whee! I think I'm going to change up a bit, though. Um, at the same time, I like the, uh, I like the different approach from the normal, you know, like, where normally it's like, ooh, I missed your Bodhi. It's impossible to turn around in a sane way on these <laughs> things. That is true. I mean, I don't know, do I want to put like a, a bend or a curve in this thing? I could. Like a T-junction. Or a, something. Yeah, so they're gonna go in order. So this one's white, this one's orange, uh, magenta, light blue, da 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 Might also change the white on the outside to be the different colour. So like this will be whatever white concrete is orange. Heck is the white I would go a step concrete. further than that and say one is a forest area. Um, have like leaves like creeping out from around the entrance and stuff. Good day. So. <sighs> Look at me having ideas. There's really 16 of these things, aren't there? Yep. Yep. Is that how you spell the word orange? Uh, 2511. Like, uh, so. I just haven't got around to repainting them all yet. Also, what's the final version of this going to be? Probably 1.16. Okay. You know this means you're uh, obliged to make a Piglin important area. I realize that. And I also 
also realize that I might have to die. I don't know. It would be much easier if something like Amulet actually existed. And I could make these little rooms in 116 and then back import them to 1.12 or whatever and have all the tools and all the blocks. But this is another thing. Do you want to do this area then? For now? And the first block I immediately place is a pink concrete placeholder. <laughs> this is already going gray. So that is the plan. Uh, I also want to try and get as many different map makers as possible to each collab with me on a different box. Because I think I that think would be fun. This in an hour and a half, two hours. I think we could. It shouldn't take too long, like one, two streams maximum per box. I guess I can just. Oh my god, the creative inventory is so much smaller. <laughs> Yeah, and only in four versions. By the way, uh, quick aside. Oh, we are literally just hit 250 subscribers earlier today. This is this is a number larger than zero, so that means you're not failing. This is this is a number fifty larger than when I began Horrify. This is good. Nice. Uh, uh, thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed. I do appreciate them all. Now you have me wondering: Did I actually ever subscribe? I think so. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Makes me not feel like a massive turd. Oh, yeah, there's a Fornan. Fornan! The Fornan. Uh, Fornan. 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 Join, join server. Fornan. Help do things. Help me not be completely unprepared. Because I am completely unprepared. <laughs> Just poke your nose in here. <laughs> what is with all the pink? It's it's a placeholder. What block is it supposed to be? It's gonna be those wonderful basalt columns. Ooh. I need to actually build with all of these new blocks. I haven't really had any chance to do so. And the only thing I built on that never survival server was a huge wall of doors for some reason. This is an odd color scheme we have going on. Uh, this is gonna be the dark stone, <clears throat> and it's gonna be like the whole floor here. So pink and purple. This gets better. Yeah. Placeholders. Place I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was just gonna be completely placeholders. Placeholders. Yeah, basically. Area. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you should write these down so we don't forget. Okay. Uh, placeholders, the area, there we go. Right, this one is supposed to be green. Why is my... okay. Um, 
I either forgot how to use world edit overnight, or I'm fucking something up here because with this replace command isn't working. Slash slash replace rather than slash replace. Yeah. Did you do both slashes? Sky is filled with many circles, yes. I like that. I like circles. There we go. For people wondering how I made all the circles, it's just a whole bunch of sphere brushes that I put together and then chopped most out of so that there's only three little layers left. Uh, cleared up all the rings that were more than one or one and a half ish blocks in uh, width. And then it wasn't big enough, so I just took that and copied and pasted it a whole bunch of times. But I think it looks quite nice. It does look nice. Is this is this a minimalist, but you can step outside the box? Yes. Ah, so it's a minimal I guess light. SM's really thinking outside the box. Light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm also not sorry at all. Gotta inject some originality somehow. It's minimalist, but all of the areas are like test chamber simulations used for combat training scenarios. The, the SM? Yes. And I say this with love, it's a minimalist like. Nobody cares if it's original because the whole concept is <laughs> Everybody only cares well, if it's good. Okay. I think actually the the deviation from being all inside boxes makes it less of a minima like, more of a minima light. Uh, just just oh, to put that no. minima light. <laughs> yeah. Ordinary proud of yourself. I've been saving that since, like, I saw <laughs> the post in YouTube streamer. <laughs> That's it. That's all I had. That's all I came here for. <sighs> hey, Fornan, do you feel like helping me do this? I mean, what what's happening? Probably. Um, I'm I should just be doing... working right now, but you know. Just doing placeholders. So this is gonna be one sixteen for me. Probably. No, you said it was going to be 116, and now you better stick to that, otherwise i got to rework the whole damn concept in my head. It'll be 116, yeah. Yeah. Basically, uh, the walls, like this section here, like the walls and floor all needs to be pink. Let's hold it. Don't give me a heart attack, PSM. Huh? <laughs> Don't give me a heart attack by saying things like it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> I said probably in the first instance. Did you? Yeah. Not like this. It's fine. If we if we need the one point sixteen blocks, it'll definitely be one point sixteen. Condolences for working with the commands on it, though, because Jesus Christ. Hopefully it won't need too many commands. This will just be like some basic fill stuff. This isn't going to be too Yeah, bad. we just need like a fill command to clear out the lock on each door. And that should be about it, really.
convey I want to help, but I literally have no idea what method to this madness is you're doing right now. You're just placing all blocks that I don't, Hold I don't on. know. Hold <laughs> on. I was just I was just placing the uh okay, so you see all the purple stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, the purple is is placeholder for the dark stone or whatever it is. Right? Yes. And so everything within uh the purple line like this needs to be purple. Well that it make a lot less tedious. Were you here for the plan about the lava rising and falling? Absolutely not. There's gonna be lava falling. And rising. Oh, exciting. So we've been making this purple shape three-dimensional. Um... Well, now the the purple is done. Now everything that we've done is pink to fill in the inside of the ah, basically the outline of the walls. Got it. I have world edit. <laughs> we've got world edit. We've got MBT edit, and we've got voxel sniper. Oh my god, Voxel Sniper would be a nightmare with something like this. Yeah, probably don't try and use that. Yeah. <laughs> One block radius erosion. I spent some amount of time making this hangar, and I don't want holes in it. How long is some? Not too long, actually. It's basically just the uh, same asset copy and pasted in a line a whole bunch of times. But it's still understandable that you wouldn't want it. Should be relatively easy to fix. is extremely pink. <laughs> this box is extremely pink. Uh, there's jokes to be made there. I'm in this box that I'm making pink, not your box that I'm making pink. We have two very pink boxes. This box is very like nice. You're you're like, you're not yeah. helping you're not helping me resist the urge to make jokes. <laughs> 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 But it's supposed to be a uh, at least not inappropriate stream, right? Yeah. So I, I can't. I can't, and it's killing me. Fireworks. Fireworks do not exist. Oh, no. I'm concerned. I figured it out. Okay, almost done painting all of these boxes. I can say painting. Have you seen the, uh... World painting. Have you seen the new, uh, biomes, by the way? Nether biomes? Uh, not in person, some of them. But I've seen some of them, and I've... Well, I've seen all of them. I've been to some of them. I played in uh, I played some hardcore recently at 116 uh, in the Nether and yeah it's really awesome to like I don't know actually play in it and see it they've, they've done a really good job. I find like the basalt delta a nightmare to traverse, but that's it. It feels like a nightmare to traverse, like in the way that like Render likes to make some of his areas nightmares to traverse. Yeah. Random pools of lava. Is always the way.
loud breathing into microphone. Sorry. <laughs> It's basically a requirement to make uh, red or black wool areas dark and depressing, isn't it? Sorry, what are you making them? That's why you have to keep going <laughs> whenever you're playing tennis or Rocket League or anything that involves hitting a ball backwards and forwards. Or well, maybe that's just me. It's like, oh hey, somebody keeps doing the walls. It's getting done. Yeah, it's getting done. This place has a has a very nineties vibe to me. Arcade. Okay, all the exterior cubes are painted. We now have an array of colors. Sixteen, in fact. Funny that. I mean, there hasn't been a, an austerity disk map yet. I don't think. No, there hasn't. I think it would be better if it was. I mean, why did I just paint all these boxes different colors then? Huh? I don't know! I could know. paint them again, the colors of the disks. Yeah, you could. Of course. Oh, and they're music boxes. They're jukeboxes. Wouldn't be 16. Um, actually, uh, 116 is gonna have another disc. It's gonna have pink right? step, yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. still gonna not be 16 yeah. discs, I don't think. 13, yeah. 13. The best number for discs, I guess. We already have a disc or called you 13. Could still do 12 and you could, you, you could leave off the crappy noise one. And nobody would miss it. 13. Oh wow, it's been prophesied. <laughs> Why do you think I said it was the best number for discs? <laughs> Even though I actually don't like the disc that much. The song that much. Okay, well we have technical uh, dream area. Because of the uh, because of the there. way I have to set things up, I actually only get one side of uh, left right audio. Uh -huh. So, um, <laughs> you know, it sounds super weird when there's a music disc playing. And you, I turn around because I'll go from like not hearing it to hearing it to not hearing it. See, that's a pretty good one. This is okay. Big step is the best disc though. It has to start. What, what, what are you doing? You're flying down into the void, my friend. He just really doesn't like the song. <laughs> well... There we go. Bye-bye, parrot. <laughs> Alright. And there it goes. What are we doing? Um. <sighs> Aside from jukeboxes. Now we get to build structure inside here. I have no idea on the specific layout. I was literally going to be making it up as I go. Also, we've used nether brick as part of the. Is that a placeholder as well, or is that supposed to be actually nether brick? It's 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 a it's a placeholder for the uh, carved dark and stuff. Well, now we can't actually use nether brick in the area. Mm, that's a good point. 
the reason I picked it is because there's stairs and slabs, so I could always like switch to red sandstone for placeholder, which is horrifying, but okay. <laughs> it's always purple. <purper. laughs> I mean, it would match the other purple placeholders. Wow. That's right. for suggesting bur As for anything, it's horrible. Seems uh, a tad extreme. It's a placeholder, that's literally the, that's the reason why it's the best placeholder, is because you would never Fine. use it otherwise. Fine, <laughs> it's happening. Blame Fornin for the thing that's about to happen. Um, apparently I screwed up my selection. Whoopsies! What is this place? Hmm. Hmm. Apparently I can't type per block. So 21 by 21 is surprisingly small when you start putting anything in it. Yeah, it is. But this was the size of the original, so... There we go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I already want to carve my eye. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's not fine. But, okay. Alright, which direction are we going in? Do we need stairs? We probably want some stairs. We're going to need stairs. Do we want nether brick stairs? Or do we want... Pink sheep? A, mix, a, mi a mixture of nether brick and purple. Placeholder. This is disgusting. Alright, so. First up to uh, have the first switch to lower the lock. We also need room to actually put the commander block inside of a wall. Yeah, that's fine. But it'll be like one command block? So yeah. That's okay. Why is Fornan putting sheep and parrots everywhere? It just it just goes with the area. It's supposed to be a sterile testing facility. Not full of sheep. You know, animal testing. All that. Bye bye sheep. Murdered all your sheep. Yeah, it's alright, that's what happens right. to sheep, anyways. Well, we probably want a thing. Um, and then, like. Like, to, to this side, I was just thinking, just, you know, just go straight down into the lava. No beating around the bush here. <laughs> Is it gonna be like, like this? Ish. Yeah. But without the purple. What's the purple a placeholder? A placeholder for it? Yeah. With the new, uh, like, crafted darkstone book. Got so. it. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible, terrible, terrible to look at if you have a dark monitor. This is the only problem. Everything here is dark colored. <laughs> Not at the moment. Except the lava. Except the lava. It should be. And yes, I, I know it's done at the moment. Hopefully, fairly bright with the lava. One would hope. We're gonna have to put a lot of lighting in here, and we're gonna have to have monsters that will. Really... Otherwise, it's gonna be a nightmare. 
but at least it's textured dark colors and not like black, black concrete <laughs> or black terracotta. Which map did that? Was that like the last area of Austerity 2 or 1? It's the last area of every map that came out right when 112 came out. I hated that dark area. Obligatory dark area. Pesty bird, indeed. Also, BSM, mm -hmm. I slightly hate you right now, be but not really, because when you asked me to join this, I was like, I'm, s I've been super hungry for like the last hour, <laughs> and I was gonna go make a pizza, and now I can't do that because I'm participating in something. So I slightly hate you because I'm even more hungry now. <laughs> so if I seem um, if I seem a little grumpy, it's it's not any it's not you guys doing anything wrong. It's just that um I'm hungry angry. <laughs> angry. Angry. Yes, angry. There we go. That's the word for it. Do you wanna just like That'll work. Do that. Yeah, that'll work. Because the whole bottom part is this slope area. Um, the lava will flood up to this, even with the floor here. So that will be lava. This will be under three blocks of lava. Which means this needs to be lower, so that layer... Lava. I'm cheesing this. It could be slabs. Slabs. What about the space form and floating in, right? What about that corner? We could have something that comes over here, kind of floating over the lava. Yeah. And have a spawner and a chest up there. We should mark out where we want to put spawners and chests. Could have another ledge up here as well. And make a ladder. Well, I mean, this this side was gonna kind of. Oh well, yeah, it can go across here, from yeah, yeah, yeah. And then head okay. Across. Yeah. So there will be uh, ceiling space, but also like we need some thickness there for the floor because I wanted to put a charge creeper spawner up there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, with the lever behind several layers of fences. Oh, by the way, there's going to be like actual chains, and we don't have to improvise with iron bars anymore. Indeed. It's going to be great. Yes. Finally. I've seen them, and they look pretty great. They look so good. Just trying to think of what else you could use them for besides hanging lanterns, and I'm sure they have other uses as well. They're basically the same texture as spawners as well. Hmm. You can hang spawners off of them. You can hang any block off of them, really. They just happen to match up well with the lanterns. Yeah. Placeholders the area. I love it. That's officially its name now. Placeholders. I mean, I put the sun there, so... Oh, I thought that was porn mm -hmm. and cheeky. What about me being cheeky? Excuse me a second, I have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. You know why I did that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just like placing down blocks for like a primitive layout. Yeah, 
this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Um, the hole here is very explicit, um, so that if the player lingers too long, they can get a charge down their head. Oh joy, drop creepers. Drop charged creepers. Just what we always, uh, always wanted. Said nobody ever. You sound immediately extra enthusiastic about it. <laughs> and hey, here's a perfect spot for the command block. Block the mine cat cat. The cat is meowing loudly. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. I have headphones on. She's not gonna be able to hear it. <laughs> it's a cat, not an owl. You got some pretty good hair, right? Yeah, but not, you know, from the other room with headphones good. This is not working. Come on, buddy. Well done, then. I have a solution for this. This cat is extremely confused. Didn't they even try and run away from me. So yeah, here's the spot for the first command block. Um, obviously, like, the final amount of decorating is going to have to wait until we can see what it like, looks like. Uh-huh. 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 Looks correct to me. Uh, or, or this is fine, or you could just release it with everything still being a placeholder. <laughs> I think that would go over brain. Alright, and then the lava will drop it down to... Uh... Here, to probably? Even, yeah, to, to there. And then we have all this up here to fill with stuff. And then there's... Which we'll have to think carefully about because the player will be able to approach it in many different possible locations owing to the fact that they have access to it. Mm. Mm. What does pink and purple represent again? Ah! Okay, purple. Place signs! Dark stone. The new dark stone or whatever it is. Okay. And I pink? Don't, I don't think that's the exact name of it. Purple. The name of it. I just don't dark know. stone. Pink. Pink. Basalt column. That is not how you spell basalt. There we go. Yeah. And then purple is purple. Purple is crafted dark. Purple is the final block. Crafted dark something. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go switch over and look and see what the actual name of these damn blocks. I'm sure you could just look them up. It's Blackstone. Okay, we have two sets of signs saying what that everything is. Beautiful. Got to make sure we we know what what's what. Yep. D 
you want to use a pillar block instead of pink concrete for the basalt? Not really. Maybe. I guess. Yeah. Purple pillars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> More purple. Should probably also always have this bottom layer being. Uh... See, now it's just too hard to tell them. That's okay. Do we want it flooded with lava right now? That seems like it's gonna get in our way. I mean, the bottom layer could always be lava. Okay. Could do it with glass as well, on a temporary basis. But yeah. You could. Glass is just so much less messy to work with than lava. I was. You know, Sticky, it's everywhere. Well, that clearly did not work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> it's so right now. The uh, the um the lighting glitches add to the effect, I, I think. Run, so I can't even see. And this is what we have. <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, yes, the old lighting glitch, of course, of course. Of course. This is always the way. It's what Minecraft does best. <sighs> hmm. Could always have a big open chamber right at the end here, big enough. Just. Hmm. Of course, I'm the kind of person who would buff it to have like an explosion strength. Strength. direction. Probably up in this direction. Thing that could be a problem is in the areas where lava will drain. You cannot have any rain just because it doesn't drain one by one. Mm -hmm. So, like, two by one holes, that's okay. Two by one, that's not. Thanks, Minecraft, for being great and viable and wonderful.
Got all these random blocks on the bottom of things. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's like this? Underhang. We probably don't need that. There we go. I don't know what the fallout is off doing. It is important things. Important things, you say? Very. I'm concerned. Are you concerned, me son? Because I'm concerned. Only slightly concerned. Seems to just be AFK. Worst things have happened than what I'm doing. I'm fine with this. Look at it, look at it this way. Worst case scenario, we only have to place one. The maximum. Like 16,000 blocks by hand. That's okay, right? It's pretty small. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that lines up about rice. It's four blocks high. Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to tell exactly how close you are to the purple concrete. That's the worst. Sure what I'm doing here, apart from making platforms. I mean, that's what I was gonna be doing. <laughs> well, it's probably alright then. I don't think it's gonna end up being a super long area then again. None of them, none of them can be super long. Yeah. You work with the space you've got. We can put in enough spawners that it takes a long time. Ah oh, yes. That doesn't sound fun at all. Slash slash replace air uh, spawners. It takes a long time to get through just because of the frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> Actually it shouldn't take all that long if you just replace the air with it, all of the spawners, because then you can break a spawn and place a torch, break a spawn and place a torch, and nothing will have a chance to ever spawn. Blazes. And pigment. Oh wait, they basically got rid of pigment. We have piglins now. Zombie piglins. And piglins. You know the piglins run away from the piglin, which is, I mean, understandable. I stay. And there's, uh, piglins. Hoglins. Is that what the beasts are called? Hoglins. Hoglins. And then there's the zoglins, which are the... <laughs> <laughs> the 
such a zombie what? weird word. Zonglins. But yes. Very true. Because that's all Minecraft needed was more undead mobs. some slabs. Seems like a good use of space to put something there. And of course this huge pillar here that seems like it's just wasting space uh, is actually hollow. Totally have render come build yeah, your blocks. Right. Yeah, he'll do it too. He'd totally do it. That's exactly what we're doing. Do. I want to try and make areas with as many people as possible. That is part of the plan. of the area I want to be taken up with platforms. Oh, Is this enough platforms? Do we want to go asked. somewhere else? Leave enough room for a guest somewhere? A guest? Hmm. Rock behind there. I guess I can't go that way. What's that funky ass noise I made? Uh. Ooh. Or something like yeah. that. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> That's also bedrock. There is bedrock everywhere. Caution and bedrock everywhere. That's what happens when you put a big wall in the middle of everything. <laughs> Which I wish wasn't required for the idea, but I think it is. So now I've built increasingly large numbers of areas where you actually manipulated the area and environment, so I guess that's my thing now. It's good to have a thing. Yeah. My you thing is areas where you change the environment around. Weird mechanics. Like advancements. At least you don't need more maps with advancements. Actually good advancements. I will let you do advancements for molten if you choose. <laughs> because I've done stuff like beat the whole map without placing torches. And nobody else has done anything like that at all, and I'm like, what? what? I'm wasting so many opportunities, right? Use the advancements. There's a whole advancement system, and you're doing basic progression, close the white wall. Yeah. I did a little 
little bit of that in uh, the admin map I made. Well, okay, that's it. I'm officially BSM. I'm re officially recruiting you for advancements for the map. I'm very close. Well, not very close, but then I'm getting right closer and closer to done with. Sounds good. Which will also be for 116. And also has crazy placeholders. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I can't escape it. At least it's not sponge. Yeah, that's true. At least it's not sponge. Alright, well we've got a big blank area up here. Um What do we wanna do with this? Well we need another <laughs> We need another spot for a uh, canal. Right. We do. Probably up here somewhere. Probably up in that corner. Yep. I mean, if I pull this one more over, and then it can go in, like, yay direction. A, like fortress like front like structure where you kind of go into like a nether fortress style hallway up along the top and against that back wall is like supports for it I don't know how we're gonna do anything with an area this small, but we also want to put something in the area to not waste the area. Thinking. I am I, I am doing things, but it's using. Iron bars are good. Iron bars are cool. Iron bars exist in these kind of environments. Let's use some iron, iron bars. bars are... <laughs> are they as good as chains? Maybe not, but they feel pretty good. But we can always replace them with chains when time, the time comes. Can't link them together like this with chains, though, unfortunately. I just sent you guys a resource pack. This should be helpful. Yeah. Minimalite.zip. Remind me how I put this in because I'm terrible. Go to your resource packs uh, button um, in options. Do I just, like, where do I put the zip file? In the resource packs thing, there's an open resource pack folder. That's where you put it. Okay. Um, open resource pack folder. Too much purple. <laughs> never, never enough purple. Oh yes, this is much better. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that this is turning out <laughs> like I was, like it did in my mind. Because I was just screwing around with the snapshots. Oh, yeah, this more ruined staircase oh. looks nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks really nice. The danger with this, however, will be that. If I, if I use this for my own thing, too, I will end up forgetting to actually replace the placeholders. <laughs> <laughs> so some poor sucker will get a alpha test version that will have burger <laughs> <laughs> No, no! <laughs> <laughs> 
and I will end up using much stronger language than oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much any area that you've I've seen I've sent pictures of anytime recently that has like later than one twelve blocks like, are always look terrible without the resource back. Like my like my uh, skins revolt area. Sorry about the coughing. That's just so much purper. I totally am gonna end up using this for. This, by the way. Actually. A slightly different version. Oh, yeah, this looks... That's if Fernand is feeling generous enough to do that. This looks good. It doesn't take too long. Like, I literally made this, like, during the time period where I've just been sitting over there next to the cube while you could work it, so. Okay. Provided you don't want, don't want me to change, like, literally every block in the game. Was the nether brick still gonna be nether brick? Um. It looks a little weird with it, but I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, it looks alright. I can make this wall look pretty nice, actually. Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah. Looking cool, Joker. And up on this, uh, up on this spike of doom, I... Totally put a gas spawner. Because mm. 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 I'm rude. So for an LDM is a changes. Okay. Kind and benevolent for then. This looks good. I like this. My apologies for making gross body sounds. I'm only a little sick, it's fine. Placing all of the blocks, that would be fantabulous. Oh, it doesn't connect up properly. It is fine, I think. I can fix that with uh, the debug stick at a later time. When I'm in a version that has the debug stick. I need a few of these, and I know there's going to be a gap there, but I think that is acceptable. And then we can 
go something like this, I think. And then the commander block can be like right there ish. I'll look in a moment. I have like six people missing. Why does everybody always choose to message me whenever I am in? He's looking pretty fine. Could even put some carpet in a couple of those. <laughs> what? Sheep on a stick. Gaspy sheep. area there-ish, but should be fine. A little bit of white space never hurt anyone. I think block fire on the walls would be important, but no. Not that. Mm, I like this. Ladders, though, because they really are not going to behave well with the lava. Hmm. Gas just about fits in that space. Almost. Um, the gas would definitely fit uh, here. <coughs> Judging by the scream, not quite as well as I thought. <coughs> Lowered the uh, bar down like a block. <laughs> Okay. 
who needs weapons to kill ghasts? Not me. The problem with this is the iron bars here are going to be level with the second lava layer. And it's going to like intrude on it in a weird looking way, because Minecraft is weird, so... We could have striders in here. We could have striders in here. Yeah, we could. That's a good idea. Especially for the bottom one. Mm. What do they even do? Are they? I thought they were neutral because they never they tried to Yeah, they're neutral. But you can have things riding on top of them. Like skeletons on top of striders, on top of lava. The solution to all my anti-bridging wishes ever. You could just have the skeletons fire resistant, of course, but it looks more thematic on top of the striders, probably. I haven't actually tried it, but I would imagine so. so. None of they look so cool. They look wonderful. They do. Um, also, they if they're not in lava, they turn from the brilliant red into like a, a dull, cold color, and they shake because they're <laughs> shivering. <laughs> I knew they shake, I didn't know they changed colour as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. Talk about a well made mob. Vexes. <laughs> no. 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 Stop. Stop. I don't think a gas is going to fit in here. Probably not right down here, no. No. Uh. Where are we going to put the objective? <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's a chest down here. I thought this is a might be it. Right there. Yeah. They probably don't have to be in boxes for this map, because a box, even like a 3x3 box, is a decent part of the area itself. Yep. So it can probably just be a chest with a block on top of it or something. The downside is a player who knows it's here could just dig it down into it because like there's no there's nothing really besides a bunch of blocks between here and stuff. I suppose a player who had enough misery with the charged creepers could end up discovering it, but... Speedrunners. Speedrunners are gonna speedrun. I'm not worried about speedrunners. Neither am I. Actually, in Molten, I've actually made a couple things to help accommodate speedrunners. Having slightly larger patches, only just for things to spawn on between this. Yeah, that's what I did back here. Bridges. Be able to spawn back here. Yeah. Sheep is looking rather sheepish. Yeah, 
this area is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Get like another little structure or something down here. Actually, you know what speedrunners will end up doing? Hmm? They'll end up like placing a lever on the outside of the bedrock box and flipping it to trigger the command block. Yeah. I'm kind of half keeping that in mind and trying to prevent that, but I will say that I half don't care. Placing some lava right now. Levels. It's a light level up here. Four, five, six, eight. Let's go. This is gas when they touch lava. This gas when they touch lava are dancing. They love dancing. I wish I could be as happy as this would probably be Chain. It'll be Chain. Oh, you got those. <laughs> That's what I hope the player does, not me. <laughs> me burning in lava. To death. I was just about to do that. Yeah, this looks pretty good, I think. I was seeing it hit the fireball on my screen, and the server was like, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Shit. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's okay. Aura swears enough on these streams. It's fun. No, I'm trying to place these. It's like, I do that enough all on my own. Yeah. To go for a dip and look. Just did a little bit of block uh, around the edges and maybe... Fine. Pretty fine. Pretty fine. Pretty fine. I think we should only go with one lava column here, or it's gonna be too bright for anything to spawn. Unless we make it so it can spawn at any light level. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Things riding blazes. The piglins care about light level. I would assume not. I don't know. Zombie pig, pig piglins, pigment, pig, yeah. Those guys, they don't care. So I would figure they wouldn't. We can just use those then. And with the skellies, and I'm sure there's enough mobs that don't care that we can use. Some block far will have to be uh, changed up a bit because we've got the cracked stone bricks we can throw in as well. And the detailed ones with the electrical socket 
American outlets on them for some reason. It's supposed to be the pig snout, but it looks like an electrical outlet. It totally does! <laughs> Just plug your, uh... Plug your charger into the pig snout. Yeah. A non UK electrical outlet with out the third. The third hole. Well. That's this this is this is solid progress. I can't think of anything else to add that wouldn't just get in the way. <laughs> I'm looking back down the row and the purple box is now black. <laughs> um it's even better because uh something my project as well, so like yeah. The green is now the salt pillar for me. Oh, I didn't even notice the green. I obviously wasn't paying attention. No, no, no. It should be for you, but it is. There Your texture all. pack. The green screen. Yep. And, uh... Pink concrete is actually all, uh... The, the, the black stone for now. For me, it's great. Oh, yeah. The best thing about that gold door, if you mine it, any piglins nearby will be awesome. Yep. 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 <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's a thing that's uh, configurable. Because there's like a, a guarded block tags for the piglins. Yeah. If that's one of the if that's what that system is. Hmm. You could put a wool box and just have the wool itself on a little pedestal and then have all the piglin guarding the wool, so when you pick up the wool out of the wool box, all the piglin around suddenly aggro on you unexpectedly. That could be yes, a good trap. Because you can set chests to have that tag as well. Oh, well even better, just have it in the chest like it usually is, and no one can tell the difference until you take the thing out of the thing and then you're dead. Getting murdered. Yeah. Because they are scary. They mean it. <laughs> Sounds like a good trap. Those swords are not decoration. <laughs> well, yeah, apart from a little bit more block far on the walls and ceiling, I think this is looking pretty done. Yeah. Cool. We basically did it in an hour. Hour and a half. I, I both blame Fornan and thank Fornan. Welcome. Uh, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> no. um, oh, is this the, the minimalist thing? Yes. Yes. Oh. Never, please. Huh? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Why there's, what, is there a creeper running around? Oh, we just finished the area. Don't blow it up. I'm just populating the mobs. It's fine. Well, I think this is going to be pretty much it for now anyway. And hopefully we can have one stream for each box and it will be 16 streams with a whole bunch of different people and everything will be glorious and fun and it won't get stuck in development hell like Severity 3. We, we, we don't talk about that, okay? Too late. Severity 3 isn't real. I mean, uh, me and KBT did a whole bunch of stuff for the monument and apparently that never actually got saved. 
So. Oh yeah, because Beast Node was being awful or something. Yeah. So that's a bunch of stuff that nobody will ever see apart from a couple of screenshots of it. I uh I went on and did a bunch of stuff and it never got saved, so I was just like it and stopped caring. So yeah. Well, maybe some other day I can actually get an avatar to help me on one of these boxes. That would be cool. now I think that is gonna be it that is all the time and we are done with this one thank you very much for watching hope that you enjoyed and until next time we shall see you soon oh yes stay safe that bit that bit too is important